Now, at this stage, I'm just going to say that I'm happy with how I've designed my questionnaire. I'm now going to go to Collect Responses. When I go to Collect Responses, basically I want to choose a method of how the students or the recipients are going to be able to send their responses and use the survey. Now the best one that I tend to use is using this link to send in your own email message and to place on a web page. So I'm just going to call this evaluation link and go on to the next step just here. Now you can see here that I've got a link which I can now copy and paste so if I right click and copy that, I've got a link there which I could put into a Word document and just paste that link by right clicking and going paste and saving that for later. So I'll minimize that Word document and then just come back to here. So now I could check the next stage is the settings or the restrictions. Let's click on to the settings. So it says allow multiple responses. No, allow only one response per computer. I suggest you click on to yes, so then that means more than one person can log on to the same computer in the same classroom or wherever the space is to be able to use that computer to give a response. Otherwise, if one computer is used, then other responses might be blocked. So, allow responses to be edited. I just leave that as yes. Survey completion and all of this technical jargon. We don't really need to know this as such. So, I'm just going to click on to save settings. So we'll go back to the summary, and now we'll look at the restrictions. So you can set a cutoff date and time, or you can set a uh, maximum response count, but not really useful for feedback if you want all of the students to take part. You could use password protection, but I'm going to leave those open as they are.